Abel Albanetti back, exercise eight, take one. What's going on everyone? Abel Albanetti here, bodybuilding.com and muscle tech athlete. Today I'm gonna run you through my meanest back workout. So the goal of this workout is to build some serious muscle in your back. We're gonna be doing drop sets, supersets, intersets, stretching, everything we can just to annihilate that back muscle. This workout should take you anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. So be sure to take a great pre-workout and let's get started. For the very first exercise, we're gonna be going with a wide grip lat pull down. We're gonna be doing five sets of 12 reps, but on the last set, we're gonna be doing a double drop set. So during this exercise, you really wanna focus on squeezing your back muscles, get those elbows down as far down as possible pausing for just like a second and then go straight back up. So I want you to warm up until you hit your weight that you're gonna be hitting failure around 12 reps. This is really just to fatigue that back muscle. So during the double drop set, I want you to hit failure around that 12 rep range. But then immediately drop the weight by about 20%, then go at it again until you hit failure and then do it once more. <sighs> Moving on to the meat of the workout, this is gonna be the compound movement. We're gonna be doing bent over overhand barbell rows, three sets of 10 reps. So the reason why I like starting off with like a lat pull down, I feel it engages your lats a whole lot more for the rest of the workout. So going with the overhand grip, we're gonna be working on the width of the back. So make sure when you do the bent over row, you're keeping your back straight while you bend over and make sure you're bending down enough. Too many people turn this into a trap row. <sighs> Moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna be doing underhand grip row. So using the exact same setup, all we're doing is switching up the grip placement. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 reps. Now doing reverse grip, underhand grip, I feel it engages my lats a whole lot more. So the great thing about doing underhand grip is that you can keep your elbows to your side and pull back and just squeeze. So now we're moving back into the pull downs. We're gonna go close grip, pull downs, four sets of 12 reps. So with a close grip, we're gonna be working on the thickness of the back. When you're doing the close grip pull downs, make sure you're pulling down your elbows as far down as possible. So going down, squeeze, stretch back up, and then pull down again, keeping constant tension on that back muscle. So next up, we're gonna go with an underhand grip lat pull down. We're gonna be doing four sets of 12 reps. So for me, I like to go just out shoulder width, so not too far out, but just enough where I feel a great squeeze in my lats. So the goal of this workout is hit your back in all different angles, and that is why we're switching up our hand placement in so many different ways. Now on the third set, we're gonna do a drop set. And on the fourth set, we're gonna do a double drop set. Moving on to dumbbell rows. This is gonna be extremely tough after doing all the other movements, but you gotta push forward. So we're gonna be doing three sets of 12 reps. So when you're doing the dumbbell row, make sure that you're pulling back enough. Too many people just make it into like a trap row. So bend over, squeeze while you pull back, stretch forward, and then pull back again. And on the third set, we're gonna do a triple drop set. 
As with anything, make sure you keep tension in that muscle. Don't let it rest at any point. Next, we're moving on to one of my favorite exercises, the incline bench dumbbell rows. We're gonna be doing three sets of around 12 reps, but on the last set, we're gonna be doing intraset stretching. So you want the incline bench about a 45 degree angle. So in doing this exercise, make sure you pick a bench that your arms aren't touching the ground at the end. So it's all about the stretch here. So now let's talk about the intraset stretching on that last set. So I want you to go to failure for around 12 reps and then let it hang, let it stretch for 30 seconds. Then drop the weight by about 20%, go for another eight to 10 reps, stretch again for 30 seconds, drop the weight, do the same thing over again and then you're done. Next, we're gonna move on to a superset. We have seated cable rows, superset with straight arm rope pushdowns. Four sets of 12 reps. While I'm doing the seated cable rows, I like to get a close grip. Make sure that you're going all the way forward, stretching, and then pulling those elbows back as far back as you can. Now, this is not gonna be heavy weight because you've already done so much already, but it's not about the weight here. You just wanna get that mind-muscle connection and just squeeze throughout that whole range of motion. Now, for the push-downs, what I want you to do is grab that rope, bend down slightly forward, and then when you go down, squeeze your back at the bottom of that motion, bringing your elbows down as far down as possible, and then try to pull that rope apart at the bottom of that motion. Now onto the final exercise, we have rack pulls. We're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps. This is really just gonna light up your lower back. You're able to go up pretty heavy, so be careful and don't hurt your lower back. And as you can tell, I'm using a weight belt to help protect my lower back. So with doing rack pulls, I actually reset the weight every single time, so there's no momentum going into each rep. Throughout this workout, you'll see me using wrist straps. I think wrist straps are a great tool because a lot of the times your wrist will give out before your back muscles do. So if you just got done with those rack pulls, good job guys, because that was extremely hard back workout. I wouldn't recommend doing this every week, but maybe like once a month. The full breakdown of this back workout is down below on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me, you can find me over on my Instagram at ablebodygym. For more videos and articles from athletes like me, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.